Thank you for coming back and joining us for another Daily Manna. I, I just really hope and pray that these are touching you and giving you something every day to make it through the day and strengthen you in your walk with God. We've been talking this week about <clears throat> the God of love. And today we're going to talk about compassionate love. A God of compassionate love. God is compassionate. If he didn't have compassion, <laughs> we'd all be in terrible shape. You know, we have compassion on people. We see. I hope you do. You see one hurting, like, like the good Samaritan that saw the man in the ditch, you know. And uh, I don't know, I guess God gave me a tender heart because I, I like helping anybody I can. And uh, But that's because I have the Holy Spirit in me. And we have God in us. It's that nature of God in us that shares compassion for the other, for others. Let's go to Psalms 103 and 13 this morning. Psalms 103, 13. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear or acknowledge him. So the Lord has compassion on us like we have compassion on our children. Matthew 14 and 14 puts it like this. When Jesus landed, he come across the water. When he landed there out of the boat, he saw a large crowd. This is where he had fed all the people and uh, taught them out of the boat. And he had compassion on them and healed their sick. And then again in Matthew 9 and 36, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. They were in a bad place. God had compassion. He has compassionate love for mankind and for the world. That's what it's all about. He saw us in our sins and he died for us anyway. The little lady that was caught in the act of adultery, he was God in the flesh. He knew what she had done. He knew that she was guilty. He knew that according to the law that he wrote, that he gave to Moses, he knew that that law condemned her. But he had compassion on her. And he showed the others their sin, wrote in the sand and showed them their sin. John, adultery, Billy, stole, so forth. Thomas lied, and he wrote their sins down in the sand. And every one of them went away because every one of them had some sin in their life. But they were trying to condemn this, this lady. And by the law, there had to be two that would condemn her. He was God, and he knew her sin, but there wasn't another witness, so he could let her go and still fulfill the law. Go thy way and sin no more. That's the compassion that God has for us. Now, we, walking in the Spirit, becoming His image, must have compassion on others. Ephesians 4 and 32 put it like this. Be kind and compassionate one to another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Be kind and compassionate one to another. This week, especially today, I want you to think about somebody that maybe has needs. Somebody that's sick, somebody that's hurting, somebody that's had a loss, somebody that's hungry, somebody that's having problems. And I want you to have compassion on them. I want you to think about how Christ looks at them. And then go to them and, and try to help them and aid them in some way or another. I'm going to pray for that right now that you would do that. Father, right now as I come before you today, I pray for my listeners, oh God, my viewers today, that they could reach out with compassion to those that are sick, hurting, in need, whatever those are. Because in doing that, you'll take care of all their needs. Father, I pray this in the lovely name of, of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching us today. Remember with God, all things are possible. Mm -hmm.